master of that. I can only describe her. how many knowledge she has. I am an electrical engineer by training. Especially if you say, I love to motivate people. Education technology. And I found that I'm so inquisitive about the research. Like ice. She got into it and stayed there for about three minutes. My social issue is about um, using mathematics in all the different aspects of life. What's the name of 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 I'm a computer science student and my interest, my interest, right? yeah. I'm interested in education, I'm interested in new technologies. You have to take opportunities, you want to grab this digital economy and not let it pass you by. Some people will be software engineers, some people will be into marketing, some will be into sales, some will be into the legal and some will be into business operations for the digital economy to thrive. And trust me, the digital economy can create employment for every Cameroonian. So as somebody who has actually worked in freelance, what advice can you give to somebody who is beginning? You need to create a portfolio. Portfolio, if you are a software engineer, you still need to have projects that you have done. These projects will serve as a way to expose you, and people will trust you, and you build from there. You studied on your own. What are some of the challenges that you face when you meet with people that into software engineering from school that out of school. Like I kept saying, the digital economy is creating opportunities for everybody. But it's not the way they were putting it. For you to succeed, you do a lot of sacrifice. Not the Nollywood drama sacrifice. You sacrifice a lot in, in forever for any success you need in this life. For me, I sacrificed my 20s to be able to build what I'm doing today. Many people think math is abstract they don't see a future in it. They don't understand why they're studying it. Uh, actually, I'm one of those people who felt that way. After you graduate from mathematics, what you have to do next is just to go and teach. That is it. And sometimes just the thought that I will have the only job I can get after this is teaching discourages so many people getting to focus and finish, get done with the program. I also try to, in this presentation, have one of the most secure companies in the world. Wow. Right now, in 30 minutes. And one of the most secure platforms that Google use is Gmail. So I'm going to try to upload the virus to Gmail and make Gmail not to realize there's a virus. This is the first time I've seen him because I was on the yesterday. Okay. And I really want my phone to be added because I want to know the experience. I want it to be in my brain for the of my own life. Thank you. Thank you. Try to make her feel like it's her bank. I'm just going to write like it's a, it's a bank and then tell her to download a new APK file so that she can manage her bank account. Or you can use any other excuse. When you have an attachment and Gmail is open with Google Docs, what does that mean? Okay, so that means um, you should, when you click on it, it's going to actually open it with the uh, Google Docs found in Google Drive. Which means is it a, a, a software or a, a document? A document. A document. document. Is it true that that's document? Yes. All right, so I put gold correctly, right? I'm Itaka Idia, a third year student in the Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Medicine, University of Boya. This African Science Week has been a great experience for me because I got to see what other women in STEM are doing in their different fields, and I got to also share my own lives with them. I also got to get um, knowledge on digital economy from Joku today. I got to see her hack and I got to see people in tech carry out the hackathon. It was a beautiful experience for me and I think it should continue. We should have more weeks often to encourage other girls in STEM to make girls know that they could also get into technology.